you know, the stuffy. Hello, lovely people. I am excited to be back and filming with you guys. I don't think I've sat down and filmed a video for quite some time now, so this is exciting. Um, I apologize in advance if my voice is a little more annoying than usual. I'm currently pretty sick um, and trying to get over a cold, so I couldn't skip filming again this week on you guys. So you guys are just gonna have to listen to the frog in my throat. <laughs> I am starting Vlogmas tomorrow, or today, I guess? Yeah. So I'm going to try to film a vlog every day and post a vlog every day for you guys. I'm kind of busy with finals and everything, so I'm not sure how it's gonna go and I'm not sure how interesting they're gonna be, but hopefully they're good. With all of that said, let's get into the 50 facts. Fact number one, my full name is Brooklyn Elizabeth Heathouse. You guys know me by Brooklyn Elizabeth. Um, I just smushed Brooklyn together. Elizabeth is what I use as my last name. My date of birth is December 29th, 1998. That also makes me a Capricorn, which shout out to my Capricorns out there because shoot, I may be a little biased, but I think we're the best. I have two siblings. I have an older brother and I have a younger sister. My older brother's nine years older than me. My little sister's four years younger than me. My favorite color is blue, but not just any blue, like Tiffany blue, so the color of my wall and the color of like a Tiffany box or the Tiffany store. Ugh, it's such a pretty color. Or like a sky blue, like turquoisey blue. I don't know. I am five, seven and a half, five, eight. I don't really know. I haven't measured myself in quite some time, but considering the fact that I model, um, I like to lean towards five, eight more. My guilty pleasure, Sprinkles cupcakes. Honestly, I can try any diet, I can do anything. You put a Sprinkles cupcake in front of me and I'm breaking that diet. I'm giving everything up and I'm eating that Sprinkles cupcake, so. Oops. I have four pets currently. I have three cats, which are honestly the loves of my life, and one dog. Speaking of my three cats, I have my little boy with me right here. But he's tired from a full day of Christmas decorating. You guys, he's so big now. Do you remember when he was microscopic? He's angry that I woke him up. My family and I are extremely obsessed with Christmas. Last year we had 30 Christmas trees and this year I think we have 30 or more Christmas trees. We have a tree, at least one tree in every single room. I have a tree in my room, which you guys will see later on in a decorating or room tour video maybe. And then we have honestly like everything down to a tree in every single bathroom. I have a huge issue with always being cold. It doesn't matter what I'm doing or where I'm at. I always seem to be freezing. Now that's a little odd considering the fact that I grew up in an ice rink. Um, my brother has played hockey for, shoot, probably 20 years of his life since he could walk. He was out on the ice and my uncle is a professional hockey player. I am 18 years old. One of my biggest modeling accomplishments is I was on Cassandra Clare's book Lady Midnight, which I'll put a picture up here. It was actually one of the coolest photo shoots I've ever done in my life. It was an underwater photo shoot that was just incredible. The dress was sewn onto my body and it was just a whole team working towards this incredible vision that turned out more amazing than I could have ever imagined it. With that said, I should add that I've been modeling for three and a half, four years now. I like to be behind the camera as much as I like to be in front of the camera. So. I do love filming videos and I do love photo shoots and modeling, but I really, really, really love photography as well. I feel like it's just another way to express yourself and get what's in your brain out on paper or pictures. I have only been on a plane twice in my life. Both times were to New York. The first time was a family trip to New York um, a few years ago. And then the second time was actually by myself a few months ago to New York. I really, really love writing, but not writing for school. Writing as in journaling or writing poems or just writing your thoughts down, trying to 
clear what's in your head and understand things further. I just think it's a great way to express yourself and a great way to empower others and get those thoughts that don't necessarily always make sense to make sense. My favorite kind of music is country music. Controversial, I know, because a lot of people, for whatever reason, don't like country music, but honestly, I think it's one of the most incredible things on this planet. Now, I do love modeling, but I want to get my degree in forensic science and crime scene investigation. I have always been interested in it. It's always been a passion of mine, and it's something that I've never really strayed from. I have always wanted to dye my hair brown, but one, I'm afraid of change, two, I'm afraid of commitment, and three, I couldn't use the excuse I'm a blonde anymore. Working out is one of my all-time favorite things, and honestly, it's probably the best discovery I have ever made, and it's something I wish I would have started so much sooner in life. Um, I did not drive the first year I had my license. I had my license for an entire year before I got behind the wheel of a car because I was terrified of driving. Let's be real, ladies. We all have a nervous habit, and mine is definitely playing with my hair. Um, if I'm nervous, or if I'm stressed, or if I'm in a situation that I don't know how to handle, or even if I'm just like bored, I will sit and play with my hair non-stop. I do it when I get my hair cut the worst because like the ends of my hair are thick and I just sit and play with it and play with it and play with it and it's so bad. I grew up around Clydesdales and honestly those are some of the best memories I have from my childhood. Adding on to that, I can honestly say I think I like horses more than I like people at times. For whatever reason I've always just had such a strong connection to horses and I just feel like they're just such incredible gentle giants and if you put your trust in them, they kind of put their trust back in you, if that makes sense. They can definitely sense your nerves and sense how you're feeling around them and I feel like a lot of times they kind of mirror that. Anybody that knows me knows that I am definitely a mommy's girl. Um, my mom is one of my best friends on this planet and I don't know what I would do without her. My favorite quote is definitely be fearless in the pursuit of what sets your soul on fire and that's something that just really speaks to me in a different way. I think it's really important for people to have a passion or have a dream and just go for it. Now I know I said earlier that I love the gym but I hate running. It's, it's not something that I feel like I will ever be good at, it's not something I feel like I will ever like. I've tried and tried and tried, but honestly, if you're one of those people that hate running, find another form of cardio that you like because cardio is very important, but the stair climber is the one thing that I really like. I do know how to play the guitar. I also know how to play the ukulele. Singing, mm, we try. I am currently trying to go vegan. I have been vegetarian for a few months now. I haven't had any meat, but I have always wanted to go vegan just because I love the planet so much and I love animals so much and there are so many cruel things that happen every day to animals due to us trying to satisfy needs that we don't really need to satisfy that I just don't want to be a part of that. I love, love, love traveling. My dream car used to be a Tiffany Blue Bentley but I can thank my friend Matt Cornett for getting me obsessed with Camaros now it's definitely probably a white Camaro with dark blue accents and light blue accents or a white Camaro with pink accents. Little girly though. I have grown up loving crime scene shows, doctor shows, police shows, firefighting shows. Those have always been my thing. That's why I've always wanted to be a police officer and always wanted to be in the crime scene investigation world. I just find it to be so intriguing and I feel like it's something that you would never get tired of and I feel like it's important to have a job in your life that you love and that you're not going to get tired of. School is something I take way too seriously. My grades are something I've always taken way too seriously. I did my best to have a 4.0 or a 4.2 throughout high school and even in college now I have done my absolute best to have a 4.0 and it's absolutely killing me that I have a B in one of my classes. I get attached to people way too easily. I can meet somebody and feel like they're my best friend in the world in a few months and trust them way too quick, which also leads to me getting hurt 
way too easily. I'm kind of really bad at holding grudges and getting hurt and taking things a little too personal at times. So, you know. My best friends are definitely my sister and Hannah. The majority of my friends are guys. I have always wished that I had more girlfriends though, so that's that. In middle school and high school, I played softball and volleyball, and softball was probably always my biggest passion and something I wish I would have pursued more. Math and science are and have always been my favorite subjects. History has always been my least favorite subject. My favorite movie is The Longest Ride, and I think that has to do with me being so obsessed with the southern lifestyle and country music and just everything. If you guys haven't seen The Longest Ride, please go watch it. My celebrity crush, Scott Eastwood and Jamie Dornan. My biggest dream is to be a Victoria's Secret Angel. It's something that I have always aspired to be. I am so bad at styling my own clothes. If somebody looks at me and they're like, oh my gosh, like, here's a pair of jeans. Find something cute to go with it. I'm like, oh no, 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 that's not, that's not good. It's not a good thing, I can't do that. Um, I typically look to other models or fashion bloggers or my favorite app on the planet for fashion, We Heart It or Pinterest. And that's how I put most of my outfits together. It took me a really, really long time to be comfortable without makeup, but I would say in the past couple months, I've become so much more confident in not wearing it. And don't get me wrong, I love makeup, and I love the different transformations it can make, but I think it's really important to try to love yourself without it. I cannot say I have a favorite season. I love summer, I love spring, I love winter, I love fall. I think they're all just amazing in their own ways. Lastly, I just wanted to throw in there that as I get older, I have realized more and more how important it is to be you and to be comfortable with who you are and not try to be other people. I am somebody that has always looked up to other models and you know, actresses, and my mom, and my aunt, and my grandma, and my little sister at times. And I am one of those people who has always tried to better myself by being somebody else. And being 18, going on 19, I'm now realizing the best way to be the best version of you is to just be you. Do what you love. Do what makes you happy. And honestly, like, that just brings out the best the best of you. I don't I don't know how to explain it any other way. I mean, you're more incredible trying to be yourself than you are trying to be somebody else and you're so much happier that way as well. So, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys will let me know what you guys want to see in the upcoming weeks down below in the comments section. If you want to follow me on my other social medias, those will be down below as well. Um, other than that, Make sure you like if you liked the video and subscribe and turn on that post notification bell so that you don't miss other videos. There will be a bunch of different things coming in the future, especially the different vlogs for Vlogmas, and I wouldn't want you guys to miss that. Stay bold, stay beautiful, stay you, and I hope you guys have a great day.